Hey everyone, and welcome back to some more of Pillia Pints. So, previously, I bumped into Owen in the Pebble Plaza, and he mentioned that he was really getting fed up with Bongo, and he really just had to step away for a while. And I've noticed it's quite hard catching Owen with this quest because he kept teleporting in and out of the Pebble Plaza. So I think I had to catch him at a certain time, but I got him. And the quest says it is time to check up on him at his own home. So, oh, quest complete Bongo time. Bongo, you're hilarious. You are literally wholeheartedly hilarious. Dearest Bongo, I'm really sorry about before. I didn't realize you wanted to spend quality time with me. Really? Yeah, you have a right to be annoyed. There I was thinking a new distraction would help me out. When in fact, my favorite distraction was right in front of me the whole time. Aww. All work and no bongo makes Owen a dull boy, isn't that right? Aww. You know, I think I'll take the rest of the day off. Psst, here, Becca. I really, really want to thank you for all of your help. Not just for today, but for our entire friendship. Here, take this. A dreamstone! And may you have many more friends forever. Oh my god, I finally got another dreamstone. It's a large one. Hey, speaking of our last dreamstones, I have actually found my first, uh, I think my first rare stego. It was an Atlas stego. I found another Shamrock Rex, just like Freya, but with a different color scheme or like a different uh, pattern. It's really, really cool. I'm not going to grab those uh, because I don't really need them. But, you know, the last dreamstone reminded me. I finally got another dreamstone. Only three more left to go. Oh, God. Oh, but that is really sweet, though. I'm glad you finally figured it out. And meanwhile, I know that Mari also has a quest. All right then, Mari. Uh -huh. You, Becca, just who I was looking for. I've had another brain boom about herds. Wait, don't run off. Wouldn't it be even great if our herd was even bigger, even great? That, mm. Drum roll, please. Okay. Oh, God. That's a very unpleasant camera angle. You could have humored me a little the drum roll at least, anyway. I don't, I don't think that really worked as planned. Um, I've set up a training post between here and the archipelago. Oh wow. Now instead of hiking all the way out just to grab some mangoes, you can just buy from Corlin in the Pebble Plaza. And vice versa, the archipelago will get fresh deliveries of carrots and everything else available in the valley. Neat, huh? And that's not all. You've seen a town board, right? Now it has even more quests from frogs in need further afield. We're expanding the herds, sharing resources, looking out for one another. And I never would have had the idea if it weren't for you helping me out, Becca. Here, something for your new farm. Fresh in the Aracotta Canyon, a coconut sprout. My research and dinosaur herd behaviors would have been truly stuck without your insights. Who knows? Maybe finishing our book will mean even more people working as a herd. Think of the research we could share. The dinosaurs around the world yet to observe. Okay. Okay, well, I'm getting lightheaded just thinking about it, but you get the idea. Thanks, Becca. This is more exciting than shenanigan. Oh, help Mari with her research on dental herds. Wow. Okay, so that's really, really handy, actually. I like how everything's been kind of normalized between the two different, uh, like, vendors and boards and such. She was really going on about, you know, new people, new dinosaurs. That is our win in Pebble Plaza again, you teleporting whatchamacallit. So, uh, I mean, these are all just the same quests at the moment. Uh, same people, and yep, definitely same quests. Well, maybe... It'll refresh them, like, the day after, if I do one now. And Colin? Nothing. I mean, you got you got a mango, but I'm pretty sure that, um, that Avery introduced that anyway. While I'm here, may as well. May as well. You know, I need to... Actually, I don't need herbivore feed, but I do need more carnivore feed. Actually, I think I do need herbivore feed. You know, while I'm here, while I'm here. And I think it's also time to see Freya. Yep, check in on Freya. Oh yeah, that's another one. Also a sunny Gallimimus. I don't need it, but it's just kind of funny. Today has really been a day for rare dinos. Oh, not to mention the Sunray Parasaur and the Shamrock Parasaur. <laughs> it really is today for rare dinos. Okay, so before I talk to Freya, hey, Nalarok, mate, you remember me? You remember me? Yeah, buy all of those. Thank you. And now I've got 275,000 shells. Excellent. So Freya, no quest pop up. Um, chat? Ah, oh, Orion is coming over for another day tonight. I hope it goes well. Was, was that it? Checking on Freya in the evening. Well, I know the uh, perfect way of doing that. <laughs> One moment. If Orion is coming for a date tonight and I'm checking on in the evening, that's a little bit... Would I, would I not be like getting in the way or anything? I mean, I guess, I guess not. 
Okay, so while we're just waiting around, um, I don't talk to the NPCs enough. Oh, when I moved to Arakota, I was prepared to be quite solitary. The desert is, after all, an isolated place. Imagine my surprise to meet you instead. Being your friend is the most majestic experience. Ah. Aww. And that's all. Okay, okay, fair enough. That's really, really sweet. Also, the town's board. Uh, no, all just for the existing characters still. Oh, by the way, this quest here, as I was checking earlier to try and uh, like fill out any more relationship status. Um, has anyone seen the Lost Trinket? I think I last had it around the talking cactus. I like how the talking cactus is just a thing that people are aware of, but apparently it's, it's just whatever. Well, I do need all the relationship progress I can get. So here is the Lost Lucky Trinket for Arani. And I mean, while I'm here, while I'm here, magical cactus man, don't just don't. Okay. F thank you. Thank you. Okay. All right then. Okay, so this is a little bit strange. It is now the evening, and I just went and did a couple of uh, little delivery quests, and I went to collect one from Arani. And if I talk to her, I mean, it says I've got a quest, but there's nothing happening. A little bit strange that. Uh, Freya? Freya has moved on back home. Oh, and Arani has now vanished. Okay, I, I have a feeling we're about to find both of them in the middle of their date at uh, Freya's, which is, uh, you know, just, just a little bit intrusive. It's, it's fine, it's fine. I was, I was invited. I am the third wheel. Um, yep, yeah, there they both are. Just now, Freya's got the quest, which makes sense. Oh, um, are we all out of water? My throat is cough, cough. I'm sorry, Freya, does it still burn? Oh, just a little. I didn't think it'd be too spicy. I just love hot foods. Yeah, I'm getting that. I'm also just getting the need to drink a gallon of water. Did I ruin the date again? I was so sure the tarot cards were right this time. What did the tarot card say? That there was romance in my future. Oh? Oh. I don't think they're wrong about that. <laughs> oh, she did a little dance! <laughs> Hello, I'm right here. I can... Uh, I feel like the appropriate thing is I can come back. Hi! Don't worry, you didn't notice a giant freak in Desmatosuchus run by. Gosh, honey pie, you gotta give a gal some warning. Didn't even see you, sugar. Um, am I interrupting? No, no, Arani just tried to kill me with her eyes. I did not. You gotta learn how to handle some spice. I'm trying. Oh, this is actually really adorable. Maybe you'll do better in this recipe. Hope you like chili. And next time, I'm suggesting the dish. There's a next time? Definitely. Oh, that's actually so cute. I'd love to give you another discount to my store, if that's okay. I wouldn't normally give a discount this large, but I know you're not going anywhere. And if you were, you'd tell me. Because that's what best friends do. I'm happy you're mine. Oh, so wait. Yep, there you go, BFFs. Oh, that's actually such a little sweet thing. And in terms of dialogue, Flint and I, we're happy in our own company. You say as you just call me a best friend and Aran is right here. Cool, cool. That's, just, that's actually so sweet. And that is that quest concluded. Oh my god. Getting, getting close. We're getting really, really close. Oh, I want to see how much further that gets. I'm not normally a fan of romance and stories or in games. Really, for me, it's a, it's a giant pass. But I have to admit, these two are really adorable. And the trying to kill me of uh, rice is really, really relatable. <laughs> the devs did a really good job of the humor in this. They really did do a good job. It's that time again. <laughs> it is harvesting time. <gasps> 60 blackberries, 76 goji berries, and a whole ton of carrots ahead of us. And this is great because I need carrots for lots and lots of my masteries because turns out a lot of recipes really like carrots and I totally ran out. So now I already have over 600. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to need much more for a while. Not enough in my inventory. Hold on a second. Oh, good Lord. Yeah, I forgot how many carrots you actually get. Oh my goodness. Go ahead and feed you a juicy poppin. Oh wait, oh that was obviously the wrong one. Well, it's fine. It did it it did enough. <laughs> and it will be enough to get the rest of the carrots. Oh my goodness. Yeah, so that's going to be pretty damn good for my uh, mastery. That was You know what? I think there may have actually been a thousand carrots. Wow. 
Oh, look at that. Yeah, that was actually over a thousand carrots in that one harvest. Oh my god. So it's been a couple of in-game days and it looks like Avery is finally back in the archipelago, but something doesn't seem quite right. What? Of course not. Why? As always, I'm happy as, um, giddy as a, uh, okay, you got me. Not even the inimitable Avery can paint on a smile forever. I've been having that mac and cheese more often than I'd like to admit. Sounds silly to say it like that. That's the problem with memories. Sometimes the bad ones travel with the good ones. I haven't really told you the story of me and Granny, have I? Uh, could you? It's not a story I tell often. As a boy, I was very content here in the valley. I will always be grateful that Granny took me in and made me a home for me. But as I grew into a youngster, I realized farming just wasn't my life calling. Granny pressed and pressed, but the more she did, the more I felt myself pulling away. I was never a farmer. Surely you can see that. Even back on Granny's farm, I had a talent for taking in the tiny and giving them purpose. But Granny just never understood me. She never saw the value in what I could do. So one day, I just packed up a bag, left a note, and left Applewood to find myself. And find myself I did, along with my wee companions. They became my family, and the theater and the open road became my life. Until you came to Pellier Pines, Becca, you've helped Granny work through her feelings, and that meant she could let me back in again. I don't know how you did it, but I'm deeply grateful for it, and cheered by the happy ending to our tale, or the new beginning, if you like. I look forward to the future memories I get to make with Granny and everyone else. I can never repay you. All I can offer is gratitude, trust, and friendship forever. Aww. Uh -huh. Wow. Oh, and of course, a little side quests. Oh, knowing you as well as I do, Becca, I'm certain of one thing. Wherever the wind takes us, we shall always be friends. I'm delighted to see you settled with so many wondrous companions. I hope this made one of them feel at home. A small dream stone. Oh, that's two dream stones. And that reminds me, um, I did also become BFF of Freya and close friends of Arani. So now, oh, and I'm BFF of Avery. Fantastic. That's all the side quests for Avery and Freya done. Although I'm still lacking the achievement for um, Avery and Garmin to make up, but I think I'd have to wait for that. So otherwise, it is just Arani and Zara who I've got to finish things off with. Oh my god, it really, I know I keep saying it, but it really is all coming together. It feels, it feels weird. It's exciting, but it feels weird. So one thing I am noticing is that as I become best friends with more and more of the Archipelago people, it is getting harder to get the actual missions I want, because as you can see, I got one for Avery, one for Freya, one for Arani. Oh, I don't want that one. I don't want to search the archipelago for your lost notebook. That's such a long one. Um, lost trinket, trinket, excuse me, in the Aracotta Dunes. Oh, lost notebook in the Aracotta Dunes. <laughs> I don't want to do these. Oh, those missing item quests may have just been worth it because Zara has more to say. Only the best treats baked fresh for my best friend. Enjoy a Jurassic pie. Thank you, I love pie. I know, that's why we're best friends. Aw, oh, fantastic. Uh, is that like full on? Oh, I got one more left. No, I gotta do more quests. Ah, but we're getting there. We are getting there. Let's see, need wheat for Avery. No, we don't. We don't need Avery anymore. Uh, need sandstone for Zara. And uh, that's it. No, <laughs> that one sandstone is not going to brush it all the way to like BFFs. But it will be a little bit more progress. Wow, thanks. You're very welcome. Oh, and six sandstone for Arani just popped up. And that's everything done for today because now all that's left over are quests for Avery, Freya, and Owen. So no more Arani or Zara. Oh, it's been a good, what, week in game and Owen is finally ready to talk. So then, it's a lovely day for a walk. Bongo and I try to enjoy the outdoors as much as we can nowadays, don't we, buddy? Trying all those hobbies was fun, don't get me wrong, but I just really needed an excuse to get out of the house sometimes. And Bongo gives me that, so I guess Bongo is kind of my hobby. That's not to say that we aren't trying new things. In fact, we're looking for pineapples. They're Bongo's favourite, but I'm not sure where to find where they naturally grow. The other day we went strolling around Dapplewood. After all, it's got both pine trees and apple trees, so we can't be far off. Do you have any info in your journal about pineapples? I do. All oh, pineapples found in the Aragorn Canyon during Jurassic season. That's me saying that. I don't think I've ever noticed the player actually saying things before. <laughs> what? Oh, Bongo, we got it all wrong. Pineapples don't grow in Dapplewood, they grow in the Aracotta Canyon. And we were rummaging around the pine trees and the apple trees, when all this time they don't even grow on trees. 
Oh well, I don't regret a single day spent in the woods. Onto the desert then, eh, Bongo? By the way, here's a little something for you. Plenty of these around the forest. Some blueberries. Aw, oh, lovely. But I've also noticed, still no achievement. That's very interesting. Oh, that is, that is really sweet. That's a really sweet resolution. I'm glad that, you know, after so, <laughs> so many quests all to do with um, Owen finding like his expertise or his new hobby or whatever, it's actually really, really sweet, the fact that his hobby is Bongo. That's really, really fitting, and I gotta say, the devs did quite a good job of um, kind of creating that rather long story. I say long in the sense that, you know, there was a, there was a lot of different things to try out, but I think it was a good thing. I think it was good that they kind of made it a bit on the longer side, because it's just made the final bit hit all the more sweeter. Hey, speaking of things taking a long time, it is year three of Cretemnus, and it is Marlo's budding day, or at least the third one that we've been here for. Hey, Becca, always a pleasure. What would you like to do? I'd like to give a gift of sesame buns. Yes. Just look at this makes me hungry. Can't wait to dig in, thank you. Budding day is always going to be thinking about the seasons. I love Cretemnus, but watching the leaves change gets me thinking about change. This is going to sound... well, maybe I sound a little silly. Sometimes I really feel like me and my trees are the one and the same. When it basks in the sunshine, so do I. And when it storms, I rock too. Do you think it's silly to think of our feelings can match the trees around us? No, not at all. Glad you think so. Storms can make you feel unstable, tree or human. But then the sunny days let you reap the rewards of your hard work too. Here, Becca, I want you to have this. Some rhubarb seeds. A hearty plant for a heartful soul like yourself. Stay strong when the wind blows. Aw, ooh, hello. Um... Becca, I was just getting into it. Aren't the tree colours beautiful? I'm inspired by the way the trees bend and curve. It's difficult to recreate in a sculpture. But that's why it's so fun. I don't know if I ever thanked you properly for all your encouragement. I'm not sure I'd be the artist I am now if you never came to Pelliopines. I'd probably still be carving in secrets. This, this is much more fun. And now that no one understands my work, they never bother me to make stuff. I still love being a forester too, but now I feel like I'm happy being both, you know? Anyway, I've been meaning to give you this for a while now. I hope it grows to inspire you the way it does me. An apple sprout. I think that's the second one. You're a great friend, Becca. Thank you for helping me feel confident in my own creativity. Oh, I think that's my second apple sprout, actually. Interesting. I thought you could only ever have uh, one of each tree. I'm like, I'm, I'm quite certain. Either way, that's really, really sweet. Oh, bless him. Well, since it's been quite a while, all of the crops are now ready for harvest. And can I just say, I love the variety. I know, like, some might consider it a little bit chaotic, and, you know, that's valid. But there's something just really, really satisfying about all the different types kind of mingling together. It just looks really oddly pretty. <laughs> but, more importantly, let's have some classic stew. Let's have some of Granny's carrot soup. And let's get harvesting. Oh, that's all I- oh god, I got 60 rhubarb, my goodness! Uh, right then, I guess actually not really that much to harvest than I expected. That then that has really made much sense, but you know what I meant though. There we go. What is that being potato? I think it's potato- yeah, I think it's potatoes. That's the one that's not finished, um, maturing yet. But, that's okay, that's okay, so we've got so much of everything else. But it's oh, yeah, it's only potatoes left over. And... One cauliflower, I think that is over there. Also have some of this garlic over here as well. And in the end that leaves me with, yep, a whole bunch of, uh, just, just a whole bunch of stuff. And those lettuce heads, by the way, the lettuce heads are also worth a lot. Right. And also the berries. Oh god, yeah, the berries. Wow, two of the goji bushes are uh, very, very ready for a big harvest. So that was, oh my god, 120 blackberries and 106 goji berries. Yes, right, I am definitely going to be doing a lot more cooking. Oh my god, I think I've done it. I think I've finally done enough side quests that Zara wants to BFFs. I must admit, Becca, I treasure you as much as my artifacts. And loathsome as I am to part with anything precious, for you, I will make an exception. Um, large dreamstone! I know you will make a dinosaur feel right at home with this. Oh my god, I have done so many side quests. And it's just Arania left, and of course a story regarding Arania and Freya. Not to mention, still haven't got any achievement for uh, Agama and Ara Agama, Agami and Avery, nor Owen and Bongo. But I suspect that these will just play out in time. 
Oh my god, so on the one side, on one hand, yay, but on the other hand, I'm having to do so many other quests just to try and make, you know, the ones I need pop up, for example. Um, yeah, for example, here, right, I've been doing lots of quests for Freya and Avery just in order to have the uh, Zara ones pop up, and there's none for Arani, so it's been, been a bit of a battle, it's gonna take a while, but thankfully, but thankfully, where neither Orani or Freya want to talk anymore about their dates, I guess I'm waiting anyway. <laughs> so I'll wrap it up here then. Thank you so much for watching. Really hope you're enjoying it. And as always, I'll see you all again in the next episode. Take care. Have a wonderful day. Cheers.